if Rafael Nadal retires tomorrow, we're going to miss him for sure. But maybe not so much because we have another Spanish sensation who is already making a mark for himself. Carlos Alcaraz made history after he became the youngest player to get into the top 20 ATP World Rankings at number 19. Nadal admitted himself that Carlos Alcaraz reminds him of himself at 17 or 18 years old, and as the two set to battle each other in the semifinals of the 2022 Indian Wells, we look at the family and the origin of yet another potential Spanish tennis star. Parents Carlos Alcaraz Garfia is a Spanish professional tennis player born on the 5th of May 2003 to mother Virginia Garfia and father Carlos Alcaraz Gonzalez. His parents are both of Spanish origin and have reportedly lived all their lives in El Palmar, Murcia, a village in Spain, where the 18-year-old Carlos had also been born and raised. The father was also a tennis player himself, and 30 years ago, he became one of the first Murcian to score ATP points. Though his father didn't make much of a name for himself in the world of tennis, he nevertheless made it to the top 40 of Spanish tennis professionals. He is also attributed for inspiring his son to pick up a tennis racket at the age of three. His father recalls that, Carlos started when he was three years old and he came with me to the real Scully Dad Club de Campo in El Pelmar. I threw balls at him and got him to play with the school children. His father wasn't a household name in tennis, but he ensured that his boy got the best out of tennis and he admits that when Carlos was only 13 or 14 years old, the youngster started to beat him in tennis. His mother, Virginia Garfia, on the other hand, is not so much of a fan of her son being an active participant of the game of tennis. However, she no doubt shares a passion for the sport like the rest of the family. When speaking to the newspaper, Mercia Plaza, she admitted that, I try to handle the situation in the most normal way possible, and the truth is that I speak a little with him about tennis. I have a really bad time when I see him play, and I assume that it is something I have to get used to. Siblings As for Carlos's siblings, not much has been recorded about them. But we do know their names, and we know that, too, they are also passionate about tennis. They are Jamie, Sergio, and Alvaro, and they all grew up with their parents in Murcia, Spain. Truth is, Carlos is surrounded by people who love tennis and who are enthusiastic about supporting his dreams. Girlfriend After the youngster became the youngest player to reach the third round of the French Open, he said in an interview that, Obviously it's good, the numbers, but I still focus on me. I am doing the right things and I want to keep doing this. I'm still growing up as a player and as a person, and that's the important thing. His statement would have easily written off any suspicion of him having a girlfriend or wife, but it is reported that he is actually in a relationship with a certain dame. And these reports have been made evident by photos seen online of the young Spanish lovers together all loved up. Folks, meet the beautiful Maria Gonzalez Jimenez, who is popularly known in the tennis gossip mill as the sweetheart or girlfriend of young Carlos Alcaraz. She has an Instagram following of almost 3,000 and is quite active on the site, where she posts pictures of herself playing tennis and of her by her lonesome. She appears to play for the Mercia Club de Tennis, or MCT, in Spain. But one thing is for sure, she's interested in tennis and of someday becoming an international star herself. For now, she plays her game in her little tennis world and supports Carlos as best she can. Another person who is not a direct relative to the family, but who is by far a monumental part of Carlos's life is his coach, Juan Ferrero. Coach Juan Carlos Ferrero Donat was born on February 12, 1980, and is a Spanish former world number one tennis player. During his time on the prestigious tennis stage, he was nicknamed El Mosquito or The Mosquito because of his incredible speed and slender build. He was an all-court all-round aggressive type of player that preferred playing on hard courts and excelled quite well. In total, he has won 16 career titles with an impressive 64.6% career record. He retired as a tennis player in 2012, but returned briefly for a doubles match in 2017 before quitting playing definitely. However, he is not letting loose his grip on tennis. In an interview with Tennis.net, he stated that, Tennis is my life. As a player, I grew in the academy and beyond that, I felt like we were growing together. 
Ending my professional career on the tour was made a lot easier because I knew I had the academy and would stay connected to tennis. He built himself an academy and then went into coaching. Juan believes that Carlos is tough and unstoppable and has said once that when he smells blood, he turns into a shark. Also, when asked in that same interview with Tennis.net who he thinks will dominate the world of tennis in the next five years, he answered, We are working towards Carlos being among the very best in the world and being able to compete with the best. He wants to be number one and I will do my best to help him achieve that goal. He also admits that he is surprised about how fast Carlos is developing, stating in the same interview, I know he can do it. He has the potential and is working hard for it, but I'm still a little surprised when he achieves his goals so quickly. This improvement must be due in part to the influence of his role models like Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal, who has no doubt influenced his game greatly. Many have already drawn several comparisons between him and Nadal, such as the fact that they both shine on clay, are Spaniards, they started very young, and have a similar mentality in game. Even Nadal drew the comparison himself when he said, he has all the ingredients and passion. Also, he is humble enough to work hard. Carlos reminds me a lot of myself when I was 17 or 18. I think he has the passion, talent, and physical components. However, it may surprise you to know that Carlos doesn't really like the comparisons and thinks he plays more like Roger Federer. He acknowledged this himself, saying, I want to be known as Carlos Alcaraz and not as the successor of Rafa Nadal. I do not feel the relief of anyone. I want my name to be known. I like to play aggressive with many winners. I would define myself as Federer. What to expect from the Spaniard next? Carlos Alcaraz is a very competitive youngster who believes so much in himself. He has declared before that, I'm a very competitive boy. I don't like to lose twice. I have passed that phase. As a child, I had a lot of courage. Every time I lost, I put up a good fight with my parents, even in the middle of games. My parents have put up with me a lot of nonsense. Luckily, the years have passed and I have grown up, being aware that all that was wrong. I embarrassed both my parents and my coach. Mentally, I have improved a lot on that subject. He made history last month after he became the youngest player to break into the top 20 of the ATP World Ranking. Carlos accomplished this by beating Diego Schwartzman in the ATP 500 Finals to give him this second ATP title. His coach, Juan, summarized his career the best way when he said, It is normal for people to want to have someone for the future after Nadal and the rest of the Spanish tennis players. But we cannot make the mistake of comparing what Carlos can be with what Rafa is. He has to make his way and not think that he may be the next Nadal because comparing himself with the best in history is a very difficult burden to bear.